This is the Rig Runner Mini, a compact base designed specifically for controlling the water. It features boat and minicopter garages for quick access to countering oil rig, cargo, or underwater labs. Entering the base, you'll be greeted by a 10 box loot room along with two furnace pods, a battery pod, and a locker pod. Dropping down into the vault seal, you'll be met by the tier 3 bench, tool cupboard, and camera station alongside your main 6 box loot room. Going to the back of the base, you'll find your helicopter garage and your boat garage. The build cost on screen includes the cost of all deployables used in the base. With the base's low cost, you can fit just over 4 days of upkeep in the tool cupboard. Upgraded to its final stage, it will protect against a minimum of 24 rockets or 12 C4 to get the tool cupboard. Building the 2x1 starter ensure you can fit these 5 foundations as shown. Next, you'll fill out the 2x1 with walls and leave the door frame wood as we'll break it later to place a garage door. Place the TC in the back corner. You can fit a few sleeping bags alongside a furnace, some large boxes, and a workbench. Next, you'll add the airlock slash vault seal, then hatch it out the wood single door frame. Then place a furnace at the jump up and replace it with a ladder once you have one. Put down a twig foundation with a triangle roof to enter the base. Once you have the materials, drop down the back of the base and add the boat garage. Next, you're going to want to place down your door frames and add your vault seal. I recommend placing down garage doors as soon as you get a tier 2 bench. Once you have a garage door on the main loot room, you can place down your main boxes. We'll start off the second stage by upgrading the vault to full sheet or armored, then adding honeycomb to the first layer. Add your airlocks with a shop front and then place walls on the second floor.
Then add all your double door frames. For the furnace pods, add half walls with floor frames. Make sure the floor frames are twig when you place the furnaces. I recommend upgrading all the double door frames to sheet as it makes placing the boxes a lot easier. Before you start the second floor loot room, you're gonna have to place down all your garage doors. Now you're gonna place down your 10 box loot room. Once you find a ladder hatch or tech tree to it, you're going to want to place down a ladder hatch leading to the boat garage, place down a locker on this triangle above, and add your depot box and repair bench to the boat garage. At this point, your base is in its final stages. All you're going to have to do from this point is upgrade the main core to armor to upgrade your honeycomb to sheet, and you're done with the base. Place your tier 2 bench with a tier 3, and once you find a camera station, you can plop that down right beside your TC. To seal the vault, put down a twig half wall and a twig floor frame. Stick a twig roof off of the floor frame, and then upgrade it to armored, and you're good. When you wake up in the morning, you'll just shoot out the uh, twig, and the vault will fall. I hope you guys give this base a try. Let me know how it goes. You could literally make this entire base from only running the water. You could recycle everything at outpost, keep the high qual buy metal frags with the scrap and you're done so quick but let me know what you guys think in the comments i appreciate you guys chilling and watching to the end i'll see you guys next time